right, I'm Carrie George, and we're going to be talking about masterminds. And I'm going to share my screen here as we get started. Like so, and I'm going to hit that. There we are. Does everyone see the big blue screen there? Okay, fabulous. Then I've done it right. Okay, so we're going to talk about Excalibur Mastermind, uh, our program at CIBN Connect, and we're going to discover the power of epiphany moments where things just explode in our mind. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so let's first of all talk about challenges that entrepreneurs face and why this may be relevant to you or to other entrepreneurs that you know. First of all, many entrepreneurs are struggling with a variety of problems. Most of them boil down to two things, and that's time and money. Um, around it, though, is the fear of business failure, and, and not just money, but do I have enough startup capital? Do I have enough coming in and cash flow and all that kind of stuff? And then along with that, it has to do with, well, do I have enough connections? Do I, can I land the sale? Do I have experience in sales and marketing? And what about keeping the business going and plugging the holes? I need in, in knowledge or connections with people who do accounting, social media. And then when it comes down to time, oh my goodness, there's time shortage, wearing too many hats, putting out fires. Did you know years ago, we, we learned that we had to send our emails out at 10.30 a.m. on Monday morning and not early in the morning because many business owners get to work and they spend an hour or two answering emails and putting out fires before they can even think straight because there's stuff that's stacked up over the weekend and now has to be dealt with. Um, many entrepreneurs also waste time on things that don't work, like doing their networking the wrong way or buying marketing that doesn't work or a variety of other things. And some business owners, um, own their businesses, but some feel like they're owned by their business, where they have to show up or nothing happens. And I think another challenge is a big one that many people don't really acknowledge is that nobody understands us. Do you, do you have a lot of <laughs> entrepreneurs in your life? And when you go to actually um, talk about something at a family function, they understand you? Or are you at a family function and everybody else there is an employee and you say something and they look at you like you have two heads. <laughs> See, it is a special breed of duck here. <laughs> the entrepreneurs are a little different. We think outside the box. Um, we are not working on a two week paycheck. You know, not everybody just doesn't necessarily understand us that comes from that employee world. Well, I want to encourage you, by the way, I was um, listening to Brett Wilson, who was on Dragon's Den for a, quite a few years. And he said that his father keeps asking him when he's going to get a job to this day. <laughs> you have to have 17 million to be able to invest in order to even be considered for that show. <laughs> and his dad's asking him if he has found a job yet. So you know what? Guess what? You're not alone. Okay. And uh, we have um, we have a community for you. So I just going to tell you a little bit about who I am and why I know so much about the subject of masterminds. This is my gorgeous family there. That's me and my sons and my son's wife. And that's my husband. And um, we, by the way, we love wineries. That's us visiting a winery. <laughs> somewhere I think that one is in Ontario and uh, over on the other side you see that's my daughter and my grandson so you know I think we look pretty sharp these days we didn't start out looking like that I have to tell you when I started my first business back in 2010 I started in marketing not in what I do today which is running a networking organization I, I started in marketing because I needed to do something that was coming out of another industry I had been a pastor for 14 years and I was thinking that I needed to get into business I wanted to do something different I had done my income taxes in 2010 and realized that I had made sixteen thousand dollars the entire year as a pastor and I was raising three kids on that and my kids had needs and one of them had even bigger needs than usual and I needed to do something different so I got into marketing because I was good at telling stories 
and I had some training in that. And I was also exceptional at this new thing. In 2010, this was a new thing called social media. I had 5,000 friends on Facebook. So I was therefore an expert. <laughs> and in those days, uh, it was just the beginning of, of that whole thing. So ads and stuff like that, nobody even knew what that was yet. <laughs> I was good at writing though. And that was what I was basing my business off. And a lot of times what business owners do is they, they start in something that they're good at or something that they've taken training in, but we don't necessarily know what to do next or how to thrive at it or how to get clients or how to turn it into a profitable business. And that was me <laughs> in 2010. I was, I was a mess and uh, I had no community. So I had come from a world where I'd been a pastor for 14 years so I had a Christian community and there was no business owners in that community and I went into business and I had no support I didn't know what I was doing and I had no mentors and actually what happened is right away in my first year of business I made a really huge mistake and it was a mistake that cost me $18,000 and if you can imagine that you know the year before I only made $16,000 I made a mistake that cost me 18,000. <laughs> Not a great way to start off in business. And as time went along, I was not really getting better at this right away. I was good at the skill that I had, but turning into a business and making money at it, I was really, really struggling. And uh, because I had made so little money for a few years. I had gone into debt and I didn't have a place. I didn't have anyone to support me. I was a single mom, three kids, by the way, there was no uh, man in my life that was picking up the slack financially. So the hole was getting larger and larger financially. If you can imagine, it was just like, Oh, wow. And two years into this, I was actually no better off. What had happened was I ended up one night, I'd lost my house. And I was in my car and I had farmed my kids out at their friends. And I was actually parked in my car about a block away from where one of my kids was. Cause I wanted to be close to them. Isn't that awful? And as I was sitting in my car, it was October. And by the way, this is getting pretty serious because I live in Canada and uh, where I live, you cannot live in a cardboard box for one night. Okay, you, you just cannot. So living in your car is not a good idea. So it was late October. That's when the temperature starts to drop. Mr. Winter is on his way. And I'm sitting in my car trying to stay warm. And I'm listening to self help CDs, if you can imagine. <laughs> and as I'm listening to this, I remember, um, one of the things that said on the CD is that if you take the average income of your top five closest friends and then you average that out, that will be what your income is. And I, in the dark, pulled out a piece of paper and started writing down what I guessed what my friends made, my top five closest friends. I did the math and I realized that I needed new friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I was exactly in life where I had let myself be. Uh, the only common denominator of any success or failure I had was me, and I had to own it. So at that point, I decided that I was going to make some changes in my life. So I actually did some dramatic changes. <laughs> <laughs> from that point forward you'll be happy to know I don't live in my car anymore <laughs> thankfully <laughs> and nor did I for even 30 days after that everything completely turned around when I started to change uh, I call it a journey of six inches that's what goes on in your head right the six inches the longest distance you'll ever have to travel is the distance between your ears so over the last decade now, I have been mentored and mentored hundreds of other people. I have um, ran over, today I run a networking organization that is global. It's, it's kind of a big deal. Um, I began running networking meetings and attending networking meetings and facilitating. And to this day, I have facilitated more than 8,000 meetings myself personally. 
I have participated and facilitated more than 2000 mastermind brainstorming events with hundreds, thousands actually of businesses that are every industry that you can imagine. And CIBN Connect now does over 500 live events a year. It, had, it did 500 live and in-person events in one city for a decade. And now we do that online and we're global. Uh, we started online events in May of 2019. So we were ahead of the curve. The world decided to join us in March of 2020, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have groups all over North America and we adopt groups and organizations as well and help them to thrive. So um, it's, it's really turned into something really awesome. It's been amazing. So today I'm a speaker. Um, I have over 80,000 personal connections and I've been called a networking guru by the Financial Post. If you can imagine that, I, I remember when that happened. I bought five copies for my mother and started singing on the cover of Financial Post, you know, and I sent these copies to my mother and she's like, what's the Financial Post? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and I've been in a lot of different magazines and written articles and all of that kind of stuff and very, very busy and all of that kind of work over the last, um, you know, more than about 14 years now. So today um, we help others a lot in business and um, I mean we've been doing it for a long time in 2014 we had our first really success story in our mastermind program and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a few minutes uh, about a florist who was able to sell her business for significantly more um, and then we were in a city during all this time that was surrounded by failure because I lived in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, which is an oil and gas city. And it's kind of like Dallas is to the US is what Calgary is to Canada. And oil and gas was taking a, a kicking in the market. And we had 6,000 businesses a year going out of business in our downtown corner our city. We had a 40% vacancy rate in commercial property. And in the middle of that, CIBN Connect was experiencing these amazing results. We had hundreds of members and zero went out of business. We had a nine-year period where we lost zero businesses to business failure uh, in the middle of that crazy. And we started to realize we got something very special here in our business network. It's not just the network and the people, and it's the masterminds, it's the things that we learn. And we've created this community of connections and connected people. And we still have that today. And today it's all online where you can belong to this group that just helps and lifts you up and just does amazing things. Um, the mastermind program is like the Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> okay. It's where we all come in and that we call it the Excalibur Mastermind Program, EMP for your business. Um, it's like entrepreneurs are like knights, they're like kings, they're like queens. They are um, empowered people over their domains. All right. They, I think it's funny that we even call like websites our domain, you know. Uh, what do those words mean before, right? We talk about building a legacy for our family. So entrepreneurs are these people who, I mean, we're building something epic and we're trying to grow something that is bigger than ourselves, that will support us and our families and the things that we want to do in our lives. And uh, when we get together, these are the kinds of things that we cover. You know, we have ancient wisdom and, and that is at the table because we have people who've been in business for 35 years sitting there. And then we have the modern methods of specialists like L. Harvey who can direct us on, uh, you know, important pieces as we're going through things. But I think that the biggest thing that we have when we come together in masterminds, when I'm trying to articulate what happens here that's so magical, it's this thing called epiphany moments. You know, when you have an epiphany where it just goes, oh, 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 yeah, that would work. This is what happens when these kinds of people get together. They're big thinkers. They think outside the box. In fact, we blew up the box so long ago, we can't even find it. Don't even know where it is. <laughs> okay. We're just always thinking and growing and learning. And when you get these kind of people together and they start talking about a problem that they have, they find solutions 
in a way that no other group finds solutions. They are just amazing. So what is a mastermind? Well, the concept of mastermind alliance was introduced by Napoleon Hill, and many people know it from Think and Grow Rich. But I want to tell you something that wasn't his first book. His first book was called The Law of Success. And 99% of the people who have read Think and Grow Rich have never read The Law of Success. The Law of Success, I have it around here somewhere because it's usually on my desk or close by. Um, and I've been reading out of this book for more than a decade now. There, <laughs> Cliff has one. <laughs> there you go, The Law of Success. It's about, it's about like, I don't know, two, three inches thick. It's really thick. It's also... Um, not the best written book, actually, as far as, oh, Donna, you would probably freak right out if somebody handed that to you to edit. It's a mess. <laughs> but it is rich with ideas and things that make you think. And that's where he really got into what is a mastermind. And masterminds were being used in his time by very, you know, by great men and women who were building something epic. And from that time till now, the companies that use masterminds, I mean, today, Microsoft, Apple, Yahoo, Facebook, all these big companies are using mastermind brainstorming events within their company to build something even larger. So why wouldn't we as small businesses want to do this? Hello? Why wouldn't you want to think bigger and, and expand your mind? Over the years, there's been historical mastermind meetings that have really changed the history of the world. And I don't know if you know this, but people like C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien knew each other. They met every week to talk about the strategies of building out these books that were series books. And think about like the Lord of the Rings <laughs> and Narnia. What is that today versus the time that they were like, it's just kept growing and growing and growing over time. And this is what comes out of a mastermind. Um, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Warren G. Harding, okay, Harvey Firestone, these guys knew each other. They actually met regularly to do brainstorming and mastermind events. Uh, the, the Chicago Six, the Chicago Six is a group of six men who met every Saturday evening. And uh, when they started meeting, by the way, they could barely pay for their coffee. <laughs> okay, they were all broke. And after a few years, there were millionaires. And you might know William uh, Hertz and Charles Wrigley, Wrigley Spearmint Gum, right? These guys actually knew each other. And of course, Warren Buffett has the Graham Group. These, this is stuff that's been going on for years. People meeting together, brainstorming, doing strategy sessions. And it has changed the way we do business. But CIBN Connect, we have the Excalibur Mastermind Program. And L. Harvey is here in the room. And in 2023, these are some of the things that we will be covering in our program um, as we're helping business owners excel and grow their businesses. And I want to just say that, first of all, when we do mastermind strategy sessions, it's not a class. Okay. You hear these master classes. I sometimes say sometimes they're run by people who are master missing the CL. It's all about them. A mastermind. I've also been to meetings that they call them masterminds and they're not. Why would I say that? Because a mastermind is facilitated. There may be a subject that we're talking about, but there is an opportunity for you as well to give feedback, to share what has worked to contribute to the epiphany moment of somebody else in the room. So what do I mean by that? Well, maybe we're talking about a challenge that Grace is having in her business and we're exploring 55 different ways that challenge could be overcome. And as we're talking about that, Darlene, here is a solution for Grace's problem. And she goes, oh my gosh, that would work for me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm talking about, epiphany moments. We'll be covering the subject matters that are important to business owners. And we will be having these epiphany moments as we do it that will be life-changing for you as a human being, but also for your business. 
and many aspects of your life will be covered, not just the business as we do these things. It, it was going to blow your mind, actually. It's quite cool. L is in the room right now. L, do you want to unmute yourself just for a second and tell everybody how excited you are about being our lead facilitator for the Mastermind Program in 2023? Hey, hi, hi everybody. How are you? Awesome. Everybody, everyone is nodding. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I'm very excited to be here. And like I said to Carrie when she uh, invited me into this opportunity, uh, the main reason why I'm excited about getting involved is so I can get ideas from all of you about how to keep growing businesses that I've launched, some of them recently, uh, so I can keep growing. And, and it really is going to be a community experience, I'm hoping. I believe it will be. I'm very excited. It will be. Great to Absolutely. meet everybody. And, and all, can you just tell us briefly, what are some of the companies that you've worked with in marketing? Well, at the moment, I'm working as a fractional CMO uh, for several companies, including one that's based in Calgary and has been based here for a while, uh, that owns an aircraft and flies for the Alberta government at the moment, mapping wildfires to help to put out wildfires. Yeah, and you've done some work too with SportCheck and some other big names. Yeah, I have. So I was the director of e-commerce with SportCheck, and that was really about building some great connective content. When Sport Check first approached me, I was working with a large ad agency in Calgary. And they had a goal at that time to take their retail business over a billion dollars in retail revenue. Um, and this is a while back, but it was, uh, it was exciting times. And so what they asked me to help them do was to reinvent the in-store experience and make it a lot more exciting for people to go into Sport Check. So as we go along in this mastermind, I'll kind of explain some of the tactics that we use to make that happen, how we made a great, much better experience. Um, and it involved some pretty well-known people like Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, so I'll tell, talk details about that as we go along. But um, I event, they were my client. Um, and they ended up offering me a job as the direct, as their director of e-commerce to launch their very first e-commerce website, which was sportcheck.ca. So with that, I had a chance to build content alongside some of the big brands like Nike, Adidas, Columbia, North Face. Um, and they were telling some pretty motivational stories with their advertising. So that was pretty exciting for me. Awesome. So I just wanted you to meet him and know, you know, this is some of the direction that we're going. And I didn't just find Al Harvey on the street somewhere. <laughs> he came with some accreditation. <laughs> so this, this is just part of what is going to be done in the mastermind this year. Thank you, Al, for sharing. Uh, in You're the welcome. next hour, I promise to give you as much information as possible. And I'm going to show you how to take the information and turn it into lasting transformation in your business. And we're going to be covering some very specific strategies that will dramatically increase your success and most importantly, your bottom line. All right, because I know with business owners, really the only thing that matters is your bottom line. I know a lot of us say, well, I do it because I love it. Yeah, if it ain't paying the bills, you won't, do it for, you won't be doing it for long. <laughs> the bottom line is the bottom line. <laughs> so I want to share with you some strategies that we've applied over the years and some strategies we've applied with some of the business owners in the community. And I want to talk about where did we come up with these ideas? How did, how did we have these epiphany moments? Okay, so first one I'm going to talk to you about is called the collaboration strategy. And the collaboration strategy has many different aspects. I don't have time to do the whole thing about the collaboration strategy. I could do a whole webinar on just that subject. But I'm going to tell you what happened here was we were solving a problem. And this often is a subject of conversation in mastermind groups is I have a business and I have a problem. <laughs> okay, how do you fix the problem? And, uh, and so we brainstorm around that and then up comes some solutions. So the connections, uh, the collaboration strategy came out of this problem that we had. And the problem was that we had um, business owners that were part of our business network. Some of them were very successful and they were uh, getting clients from their networking. They seemed to know how to do it naturally. 
and others really sucked at it. <laughs> and because we owned a business network and we wanted our clients to stay with us a long time, we wanted them to figure out how to network faster and better and, and actually get real clients from their networking experiences, hopefully sooner as opposed to later. Because in our business, people pay us um, usually by subscription. They're coming in monthly, paying monthly. It's been going on like that for well over a decade. So how do we get them to keep paying? We got to produce results. So we came up with this thing called the collaboration strategy. And the collaboration strategy works like this. Um, let's say you're Cliff Morgan and you do, you work with people with financial products and financial stuff. Now, Cliff, do you sell life insurance? I do. You do? And, and do you sell, you sell other financial products? Do you do mortgages? I do not. Perfect. Okay. So when he's talking to people about their finances, he has a certain group of things that he does. It's in his wheelhouse. And some he might like to specialize on, some he maybe never touches. Maybe some of the financial products he does, he could sell them, but he really doesn't do that much, right? Uh, so maybe, for instance, he doesn't like working with families with small children, for example. <laughs> he likes that that's just not his thing. He works mostly with businesses, for example. But he also mortgage brokers and lenders to businesses would have a similar target market, would they not? That is correct. Right. And I actually overlap with my business to the same clients that a mortgage broker and a realtor would have. Perfect. Commercial realtor or any realtor? Any realtor. Any realtor. So here we have mortgage brokers, real estate agents are good collaborating partners for him, for example. Uh, accountants, would that be a good collaborating uh, partner? Would they know the people you need to know? It can be if they're open-minded, yes. If they're open-minded. Now, if you met them through the network, they would be more open-minded, by the way, than if you met them somewhere else where they've had no exposure to the idea. That's so fair. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm pulling out of him three, four, you know, people that would be ideal candidates for collaboration. When I'm talking about collaborating, I also want to be clear that I am not talking about JV partnerships, okay? That is a completely different thing, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, in, the, in the collaborating strategy, we want to get together a group of people who actually have the same target market, but they sell different things. And we want all of them to have clients, okay? Because they won't have anybody to actually refer to anyone else if they have zero clients. <laughs> and what we're going to ask them to do is refer their clients to each other. Now, thing is, they don't they all say they'd like to do that, but in actual practice, most of them don't. And why is that? Well, in the networking world, we figured out through our mastermind brainstorming strategies <laughs> that although people say things like, yes, we get to know, like, and trust each other at a network, they generally weren't doing it. They weren't getting to know each other. They weren't liking each other. They didn't trust each other because the bottom line was they weren't feeding each other these clients back and forth. In fact, they protected their client roster instead of shared it. And I'm sure as business owners, you can all relate to that. You've got some good clients. You, you don't just run around and refer them to just anybody because you don't want them to, you don't want it to reflect badly on you and you don't want to lose their business. Am I right? So this person that you could collaborate with generally won't collaborate with you. And this is the problem. How did we fix the problem? Well, the problem comes from building relationship. We know that. But why isn't relationship being built? Because just like everything else, it has to have a plan. If I just met Donna yesterday and I don't know her and we're going to become friends, which we did. <laughs> okay. What happened? Why did Donna become my friend? Because we met more than once. We talked about a variety of subjects. We spent some time together. There were these steps along the way. So why does this have to be hard? It doesn't actually. We created a collaboration strategy where we told you what the steps were. We said, okay, you're going to meet with Donna. She'd be a great strategy partner for you and for a collaboration strategy. She could probably feed you about five of her clients a month. Okay. And you could probably feed her back five. We just got to get through this piece where you, where you trust each other enough that that would be possible. So how do we make that happen in a shorter time rather than dragging it out for two years before it happens? We simply 
put together the meetings that you should have and we script them so that you talk about the things that open up the relationship and cause it to grow quicker. So we created a strategy that consists of four to five meetings that could happen in a one month period where you could take this relationship from here to there very quickly and get it to a place where Donna would be willing to give you her five best top paying clients instead of say, yeah, that person would be good, but um, let's wait till we know you better. Hello? So it's a strategy we built. It has changed a lot of what we do. It's helped a lot of business owners get there faster. Where did we come up with this idea? It came up with an epiphany moment that happened inside of a mastermind. It was a problem that needed to be solved. And that is what happens in masterminds. We solve problems. We also figure out next directions. We figure out, you know, this great idea I had, is it a good idea or not? <laughs> we talk each other off the ledge. So this is a situation here in, Mar in April of 2020. This man here, his name is John Nielsen. He is a sponsor of CIBN, a uh, participant in the mastermind program. When he... In, in April 2020, he owned an auto me mechanic shop, and he was getting regular business from CIBN members, as well as, of course, in the city, and this thing happened called the pandemic, and all of a sudden, everybody is worried about, like, what's open? Can I go out? Is it safe? I can't go anywhere. I don't know who's open. I don't know if I should leave my house. You know, remember those, you remember what was going on during that time, right? So what was happening for John was he's got staff and they're all sitting around with nothing to do because nobody's coming in. And he watched his competitor go out of business across the street. He watched his friend close his shop down, not very far from him, um, in the same mini mall, actually just down the thing. And he calls me at the beginning of April and he is freaking out. And he's like, okay, I'm going to have to start laying people off. I don't know what I'm going to do. We haven't had a customer darken the door in two weeks. You know, I, you know, he says, I'm reaching out to you like in desperation. Carrie, do you have any ideas? And you know what? I did. Because we'd been in so many masterminds, I actually knew exactly what questions, what to ask them. We quickly identified he had an untapped market that he wasn't using. He had been collecting the emails of customers for more than a decade, and he had not been emailing them. And we had experts in the network who knew how to take those and turn them into something instantly. We also had the power of the network to use our email lists and a huge market in his city so we could put out the message to our people too and say, hey, you got nothing else going on right now. May as well get that car fixed. <laughs> you can't leave anywhere. But John says it's okay if you bring the car over and drop it off. And you know what happened? His business exploded. By the end of the year, using a few strategies, those were a couple of the top, off the top ones, but we actually implemented a few more than that. By the end of the year, he stood up at an event and said that 2020 was his best year of business in 18 years of being in business and CIBN Connect was the reason why. How did we know to do that? Because of the mastermind. We knew exactly what to do. We'd been doing these kinds of things for business owners. So what happens in the Excalibur Mastermind Program? Well, we have a variety of things that happen. Sometimes we have the hot seat model where you bring your challenge, the decision you need to make, the big idea that you have, you know, uh, and we talk about it. We brainstorm. We do brainstorming, barn raising, and world domination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we flesh out the idea. You know, big companies pay huge money to get focus groups to flesh out their idea. Okay. We do this internally in Mastermind, and it works. It is amazing. We also have some strategic training, like the subjects that we listed before that Al's going to be going through this year and the various uh, times that the Mastermind meets. And we do 30, 40-minute kind of strategic training on those things. But then we apply the concept to each business that is present. We talk about how does that apply to me? What could I do with that? And there's brainstorming around the concept so that you're applying things quickly 
and you're walking away with a working model. It also means that we get access to information first. Oftentimes we've got people in the community that are in that mastermind who are professionals in what they do. And so, for example, we've, we have actually piloted tools that other people didn't have access to and CIBN had access for anyone else. You know, we've got some actually pretty awesome tools available to us right now that the rest of the world doesn't even know about. It's like, <laughs> and they do some pretty special and amazing things. There is so much going on with this and we get to try it out first. It's just incredible. So I, want, I promised I'd tell you a little bit about this story. Uh, way back in 2014, when we first started doing masterminds effectively, what happened was we had a lady who joined our network and her name was Vel the Painter and she had a flower shop and she wanted to sell it. Now, if you've ever owned a brick and mortar business, when you go to sell it, there's these challenges. And like I said, masterminds where you figure out your challenges. So she brought them to us with the mastermind. And one challenge was she couldn't talk about this publicly. She didn't want anybody to know that she was thinking of selling the business because some of her key staff members might quit because they're worried about their future. And then it would devalue her business when she's trying to sell it. She had other challenges, like she had a storefront business and she was directed to use a real estate agent to sell the business, which was like eh, wrong, bad, don't do that, nasty. Because the real, real estate agent really is only interested in the value of the property of what it would lease for or what it would sell for and they had absolutely zero knowledge about what was the valuation for her business you know what about all of the stuff that she had the stock what about all the knowledge what about the marketing um she'd created a marketing like plan and was implementing that plan she had as, as like a strategy for that and structure and methods that were being used on an ongoing basis. So how was she going to get that brought into the valuation? So during the mastermind over about a year process, we worked on all of these things and she had her business valuated and was thinking of putting on the market, but she decided that she had a few holes that she wanted to fill before she put it on the market. And in the mastermind, we worked on these things. We created systems that could be easily followed by somebody else taking over the business. And that raised the valuation of her business by $100,000. For a small business, that's a pretty big deal. So, you know, if she was going to sell that for $250,000, all of a sudden it was $350,000. I think that is approximately what the number was. Um, 100,000 more than what it was first evaluated for and $100,000 more than what the realtor thought she should be asking for it is what she ended up selling it for after one year of being involved in the mastermind. So was the mastermind worthy of her time? You better believe it. Changed everything for her. And time to skip the big box. Woohoo! So Michelle's here in the room today and Michelle, um, one of the things that we learned in the mastermind was not just about selling a business, but how about buying one? What are the right questions to ask? And uh, what's important when you're looking at buying a business? What numbers matter? These are things that we talked about in the mastermind group. We also talk about things like, um, how could we buy this business? What would be a way that we could buy it with no money down? where we could take over the asset and then have it pay for itself through the things that it sells. We actually did that with Skip the Big Box. Isn't that cool? Um, Michelle and I actually partnered on this business. We bought Skip the Big Box and both of us had to come up with $500. It was a big expense. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> just joking <laughs> but we were able to take over the business using the business as its own asset we learned how to do this in mastermind it can be done by the way small business big businesses same concepts uh, so those are some of the things that we do in the mastermind we often talk about CIBN these different concepts that we have where we can break down um, $150,000 a year strategy to bring in about $150,000 more for a business 
And I've actually discovered we do it in three different ways. It'd be pretty awesome if somebody applied all three, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think there's somebody in the room who's maybe applying two of them. <laughs> we'll come to that in a bit. But would you like to know how to add another $150,000 a year to your bottom line? Does that sound cool? So I'm going to share that with you in the next few minutes here really quick. So I want to tell you about a problem. Actually, it starts out with this problem. People come into the network and or we meet them in business and they say this, I need more leads. Anybody ever heard that problem before? I need to have more leads. More leads is the problem. I got to have more leads. So we say, well, if we want to solve the net, the, the more leads problem, here's some ways you can solve it. And I just listed a bunch. Networking, the collaboration strategy that I just shared with you. If you had five people who gave you five leads each every month, Lisa, that'd be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? That'd be 25 warmed up leads with an 80% close ratio. That'd be cool. That could do it, right? but you'd have to learn the strategy, you have to apply it, but that would solve the lead problem. Um, landing pages and uh, lead funnels and stuff like that. You could hire a fractional CMO guy like L, <laughs> okay? And he could make sure that you got landing pages and lead funnels. We got people in the group like Haley Gray who could show you how to build a large Facebook group. We have email specialists, people who help buy ads, people who do five-day challenges, and we have people who train how to do webinars, like what I'm doing right now. All of these are lead generators am i right how do you know which one's right for you <laughs> hard to know but in a mastermind you actually can start to figure this stuff out and you can figure out what will i work on first how will i implement that how can i set up stru uh, structures so that it runs all this stuff happens in the mastermind but i'm going to challenge you is this really your problem a lot of people think they need more leads but is that the problem let's dig a little deeper into that because Really, it might be that they don't just need more leads. They need to have more appointments. Cliff, did you need more appointments? Was that a, was that a, a thing you needed? Uh, in September, that was definitely a thing that I needed. A lot more appointments, qualified appointments. More appointments, more qualified appointments. So it wasn't that I needed leads. I needed appointments, okay? So what are some ways you could do that? Well, in the mastermind, we learn stuff like, Networking with CIBN, collaboration strategy, making appointments on Facebook Messenger, using LinkedIn to make appointments, um, using an appointment booking tool or hiring like Darlene from Book, 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 using scripted follow-ups. Uh, there's a variety of methods and it works for booking appointments, right? But I'm going to take it for some people that might solve their problem and it will solve their problem if they don't have this problem. But this is a problem that a lot of people have. The real problem that many people have is I don't actually need leads and appointments. The bottom line is I need sales. Right. I need buyers. I need people who actually do the thing I need them to do and hand me the money, honey. <laughs> OK, we need buyers. Now, if you know how to sell, then you might actually be at the place where you just need the appointments or you need the leads. But what about all the people who just don't even know how to sell? We meet them all the time, all kinds of business owners who don't even know how to land a sale. And if they know how to sell, they don't know how to track results and outcomes. Maybe they're not big into goal setting. They don't even know how many appointments they have booked or how many they should book. <laughs> So these are all things that come with sales training, scripts, strategies, and, you know, you've heard it said many times before that the, that the goal is in the follow-up. How many people have a scripted follow-up and a procedure that they follow every time? Do they have any kind of accountability if you're out on your own? Do you get any kind of feedback on these things? You see, if the real problem is I don't know how to make a sale and keep making sales systematically, how are we going to fix that problem? Because that problem actually has to be fixed before you get leads. If we give 5,000 leads to somebody who doesn't know how to close the sale, what good is it? They only need one lead if they know how to close the sale. See what I'm saying? So a lot of companies, a lot of small companies, a lot of businesses out there trying to get all these leads. Oh my gosh, right? Trying to get all these appointments, leads, appointments. 
and then they do the appointments and they're closing like one out of 20. Why? Because the problem is they don't know how to sell and they don't know how to follow up. So mastermind actually deals with all of these problems, not just one of them, but all of them systematically over and over and over again, getting it into your head. So leads without a closing strategy is useless. You can ask Darlene, who was here earlier. I don't know if she's still here. She is. So Darlene knew how to get the leads, but she needed to have a closing strategy. She had to fix the selling problem. So Darlene, can you unmute yourself for a minute? Since you're here, I'll pick on you. So back in the summer, before you started working with us on fixing the selling problem, how many sales were you making? Uh, I wasn't making any, thank you. <laughs> hey, beginning of December, first week of December, how many sales did you make? Uh, first, once I started doing what it was that I was supposed to be doing, the scripting, the giving the proper message and being consistent about what I'm saying at each of my meetings, I made six sales in the first week and it's been, it's been consistent in selling in selling sales in doing sales. I guess, awesome. I guess I am selling sales too in my. Because <laughs> <laughs> she sells what a booking service to get you booked on LinkedIn. But that's, that's right. Her sales went up by fixing the selling problem first because she actually was in fact I remember meeting with her and and she had it down on how to get people to talk to her and get the leads through LinkedIn but she didn't know how to get them to buy something and so we we drilled down into the selling problem and next thing you know sales start coming in and the whole picture changes so when we're talking about a hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year strategy one of them could be well, how about we have a strategy that puts gets me, you know, 15 to 25 more appointments a month? That'd be great. Yes, it would if you know how to sell. <laughs> okay. But you got to fix the selling problem first, or else those are not going to matter. So when we're talking about a strategy like booking your calendar up, you need to know how to close the deals. And those things go together. And that's what we do in the mastermind is we help you to put those pieces together because when we are doing this thing called business, what we really need is solutions, right? We know what we have for problems. Oh my gosh, not enough money. Oh my gosh, not enough time. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, need, I need more clients. Um, the solution is appointments if you know how to sell. So when you network with CIB and connect, you not only get the strategy through the mastermind program, but you get the practice of what to say on appointments because we bring you the people to practice on through, this, through the network. The collaboration strategy is a great strategy. It is, that strategy alone is actually worth $150,000 a year. That strategy, the collaboration strategy. If you have five people who give you five leads a month that are warmed up, that are buyers, not tire kickers, but they actually spent something with them, like $2,000 or more, and you warm them up really good, what happens is you got like an 80% closing ratio off of leads like that. So if you have five people who bring you five a month, that's 25 a month, and that's pretty good, actually. Even a poor closing ratio, if you sell only one out of five sales, Lisa, and you had 25 warmed up leads and you only sold one out of five, that would be five sales. And if you made a $2,000 commission from each one, that right there would be $10,000 a month. That would put you into the $120,000 a year range, just that one strategy, implementing it. Pretty cool, eh? And if you kept doing it every month, you would get better than one out of five over time and you'd easily hit the 150. But what about making appointments on LinkedIn with scripts that work? That's a completely different strategy. <laughs> and that also brings in $150,000 a year, as long as you can close the sale. Because if you can't slow, close the sale, that won't work. <laughs> You've got to be able to close the sale. So where are you going to learn to do that? At the Mastermind and through the different programs that we have at CIBN. And look, there is, there is Cliff Morgan. <laughs> Cliff, why don't you unmute yourself? I just took a quote here of what you had said. But tell everybody what happened. Uh, from that mastermind meeting. 
Um, well, actually, the, there's a, a correction here. So um, the slow summer that I had, it wasn't twelve thousand dollars; it was twelve hundred dollars. Oh my um, gosh! Okay. Yeah, yeah. and um, and uh, I had four thousand dollars left in my savings account. It was a, a horrible summer. Um, this is when um, they had just announced that there were going to be significant uh, interest rate hikes. The stock market was fluctuating. Um, I had raised one point two million dollars in committed funds and uh, everybody paying because of what was going on in the market and every one of them, all six of them backed out. Um, so I went from, I was going to have a pretty nice payday and help a lot of people grow their wealth um, to having about $1,200 for the whole summer. So coming to the mastermind event, um, I was pretty bummed um, when I came in. Uh, I was very encouraged, you know, whenever I had shared, you know, the challenges that I was having because uh, everyone else was very supportive and offered, uh, you know, very good recommendations and also listening to other people that were in the group. Uh, they helped me understand what it is that I needed to do, what I needed to put into place. Um, and it really ignited me, uh, not just on uh, a, a strategic level, but also on an emotional level. Uh, I, I really got uh, invigorated. And I went out there and put everything into, uh, into, into place, um, added a couple of products into my portfolio that just, they were game changers. Um, so actually from about, uh, uh late September, uh, until right now in this month, um, I've brought in, uh, in, in revenue paid to me, uh, it's actually about 113,000. Um, so it's, it's been a very successful four months. Um, that's not even a whole year yet. Uh, my best month was um, 45,000 in income. Um, and I've got a lot more in the pipeline. That's awesome. Um, so did you have an good. epiphany moment over that mastermind? Something happened and just went, oh, I should try that? Um, you know, part of it was just, uh, yeah, yeah, in, in a way, part of it was, um, realizing that, uh, with what I was doing, I, I needed to have something a little bit different and I needed to actually try a different approach. Um, I needed to get past my ego and get back out there and do what made me successful in the past again. Um, and that was, that was basically what you were telling me, Carrie is, you know, you know what it took to actually make you successful before, you know what it took to actually get the numbers you got before, go out and do it again. Um, and sometimes you just need to hear something like that because I have had success before, um, and, uh, I had very good success and I was recognized and awarded, you know, very nicely, uh, in, in, in front of a large group of people. Um, so just hearing that, and then also, uh, rethinking my business, rethinking my approach, how I communicate to people, I changed entirely how I, how I communicate to people. When I talk to people, I don't talk to them about buying a drill. I talk to them about buying a hole. And then I build a very strong emotion around that. And, and I drive that home. And I ask a series of questions because now I have so many different offerings. If I, if I tell everyone everything that I do, it's just too much. So right. I ask questions instead, which helps me narrow it down. And then I, I drill in on that. And did, did you get some of those ideas from the mastermind about asking a lot of questions? and Pretty much all of them. Yeah. I kind of remember that. Actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I've been coming to the mastermind for two years, so it wasn't just that one meeting, but you know, sometimes you just need to hear the right thing at the right time. And it just clicks with you, which really puts you into action. And then everything you heard before that, you're like, okay, I remember talking about that. Now I can actually put this into place and okay, now I need to implement that. And all right, right now I need to go back and reevaluate this and put this into the business. So exactly. that, yeah, it that all was a game together. changer. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Awesome. So you can see how these epiphany moments, they pile on top of each other. It's not just one in one moment. It's like you learn these things along the way that help you change things. And then it's like, oh, now I know how to put this together. And bam, that's when it happens. Now, once you start making a lot of money, uh, generally, there's another problem that comes along. I need more time. Oh, my God. What am I going to do about that? Well, CIBN has the answer for that, too. We got goal setting and time blocking. We show you how to delegate, hire VAs, track everything, manage your numbers, scale 
scaling. All of these things are things that we do. We have a program called Quarter Launch that runs every 90 days at CIBN where we learn things like time tactics. You know, lots of people keep to-do lists, but do you follow them? Do you actually check off your to-do list? How do you prioritize? Do you use things like time blocking? How about focus? so that you can you know, accomplish this world domination thing you wanna do, <laughs> okay? This is stuff that we do and we talk about at CIBN Connect all the time. We have goal setting on steroids. So yeah, you hear about smart goals. How about it be smart if you actually accomplish one? That would be smart. <laughs> we use things like neuro-linguistic neuro programming and affirmation strategy. We use backtracking from lifetime goals to 10 years, five years, three years, then this year. And most importantly, what are we doing in the next 90 days? And what does that equate to? What do I have to do this week and today? Because if you don't ever get to that in your goal settings, you're still stuck somewhere in the six inches. <laughs> okay. You didn't actually <laughs> travel the six inches. You got stuck in there. So we got to break it down into what is my next step? And how am I going to get that done? So now in the mastermind program, you have a one-time opportunity to be part of something very special. Um, this is, you know, a program where we have put together this mentorship where you avoid mistakes and, and you get inside cutting edge information. And we've combined it with networking where you get warmed up leads and bottom line revenue. And then we added to it strategy for growth and high level collaboration in the mastermind program. So it's kind of like a one, two, three step that all works together and it produces happy capitalists. <laughs> People who create winning <laughs> situations, adding value, learning how to do things that are good for each other, for the planet and winning in their strategies while they're doing it. So what's the cost of this magnificent program? Oh my God, it should be millions. <laughs> okay, so what is it costing you now is a better question because right now without this program, I can tell you what's going on in most people's businesses. Not enough cash flow, not enough time. I'm wasting time on things that don't work. I'm wasting money on things that don't work. I'm putting out fires continuously. Oh my gosh. I hire people who don't get it done. I got to rehire them and that takes my time. And everyone I rehire costs me another $28,000 and because it's taking my time and my focus off of this where I should be doing this thing over here. And all of a sudden I'm not doing it anymore because now I'm doing that. Because I'm putting out fires continuously and no community where people understand you and lift you up, no mentors to guide you. So you're making one mistake after another continuously. So what's that costing you? Most of you have no idea. Because <laughs> it's hard to cost count the cost of things that aren't showing up on paper. When I made an $18,000 mistake in my first year of business, I knew what it cost me because I knew how much money I had to pay back from running my mouth <laughs> and making promises that I couldn't keep. <laughs> That's how I knew it cost me $18,000. But how do we know what things cost us if we didn't do the mistake? That's a tougher question, isn't it? Well, I can tell you right now that Donna Dahl has made me thousands of dollars <laughs> in mistakes missed <laughs> for sure. And many others in the network as well. So what if we didn't have those kind of challenges? What if? What if our business looked different? What do you want your business to look like? What if it looked like this? What if it had a I don't know, a group of people working, whether you were there or not. Wouldn't that be cool? What if it looked like this, where you could take your business anywhere you want and just do it from there? Some of us do things that maybe we don't have to be in an office all day or in one location. And what if your business looked like this? I don't even know where I am. I'm in the water somewhere. The boat's going on its own. I don't know about you, but I like a business that looks like this. Is that fun? So as entrepreneurs, we all have this strong urge to 
improve the lives of others, but often that passion gets defeated by an overwhelming number of things to do and confusion about how to get it done the right way in the right order and having the right mentorship and support. And that's why we've opened up the Excalibur group for new members. We have something incredibly special here. You know, while well, 80% of businesses go out of business in their first five years, I'm not sure if we ever lost one in the mastermind program. I don't know. I have to go back and look. It's been it's a lot of the same faces around Donna, right? Because we're still in business. It's amazing. The group just continues to prosper. So in the world out there, these are things that matter in business. I mean, getting mentored, networking matters, masterminds matter. I'm going to show you in a minute what our competitors charge for this. If you were buying these things at CIBM, this is what you would be charged for them. <laughs> okay individually and it would come to about i don't know six thousand six hundred and seventy two dollars if you bought them individually to get some of the pieces that what i'm talking about here but what if it's not just you standing there alone anymore and you can take your business global to places you never even thought of and you had a community supporting you. What if it was all about that? Wouldn't that be huge? So what is the value of mentorship? It's hard to put a value on mentorship, honestly, because you can get mentors everywhere from free up to, you know, hire Tony Robbins for half a million. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just, it's difficult to put a number on it. And I've had people say, well, men, I, I get mentoring from so-and-so and it's free. It doesn't charge me anything. You know, real mentors don't tell you how to do something. They show you how to be something. And sometimes in order to get their time, you might have to be where they are. I had a mentor once. He said, sure, I'll mentor you. The only time that I take where I could mentor you is when I am at the um, golf course or in the golf course place there. With, with, I don't, I'm not a golfer. <laughs> you know the the clubhouse i guess they call it right memberships twelve thousand dollars <laughs> that's actually not that high some of them are like thirty thousand or fifty thousand members at these big golf places right so his time he was going to give it to me but i had to actually become a member at the club so mentorship is not free do we have mentorship at CIBN? we got all kinds of people who mentor. One of my mentors in the room, Donna Dahl's here. She started mentoring me way back right after when I was still an egg and I just got hatched. <laughs> now she's been cracking us up ever since. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Some people ask me, Carrie, will you, are you available for mentorship? Uh, I actually will mentor people, but if you want hands-on in your business, that's actually 25000 a year to do that. But you can work through the program. You can work through the program and you can get it all for way less than 25000 <laughs> So what is the value of CIBN networking? All those networking events and things you do. Well, we talked about the practice and all the things that you need. Do you know most people... Even if you got in front of your ideal customer where it's a big company, they're going to buy all the things that you have for them. A lot of us blow the appointment. We blow this presentation. Why? We had no practice. We went in there cold. We put together a presentation. We shook in our boots the entire time we were there. How do we put a value on practice? Practice will change your life because when you show up, Grace, for that appointment, <laughs> you're on <laughs> you've done it 20 times in the last month it was easy you go in and there you have confidence you know your talk you're ready to go what is the chance of you closing that deal versus just showing up cold and trying it for the first time huge difference right so the value of the networking is not just the price tags beside each one of these pieces it's stuff like that that you can't put a value on What is the value of the mastermind? Well, everything that comes with the networking is included. You get two to three Excalibur mastermind meetings every um, month. There's multiple mentors speaking into your life. <laughs> we, we see a thousand bucks. That's actually kind of low. I don't know what the number to put on it. The feedback 
you know, that you get? What's the value of that? How do you count the mistakes you miss? You don't even know what they were. You just know that, well, I didn't make that mistake. Sometimes, you know, you made, didn't, you missed one, but sometimes you don't even know because you just got onto something that worked right away. And the strategies that pile every, up every month, it's really something because you might go one week and you hear this strategy that would add about $5,000 to your bottom line, maybe in the next quarter. So that's like 20 grand a year. But the next time you go and you get a strategy that, geez, if I did that, I could put that together in about 10 days and I would add about $60,000 a year. You know, and you start stacking these things up on top, one on top of the other. What is the value of that? It's actually pretty massive. And actually that is what Cliff was describing there is that he went and added these one strategy after another to his business. He learned these little pieces, this one, that one, this one. Then he had a place where he was just really open-minded right now because things weren't going so great. <laughs> and, you know, had this, you know, kind of epiphany moment where all these pieces came together and he went, wait a minute, if I did these things differently and if I got at it and did this, I could make a difference. And all of a sudden his business went from $1,200 in three months to $113,000 four months later in revenue. Not just not revenue, that's commissions God brought in. Yeah, that's for him. Like that's not, you know, some of us have brick and mortars where we got to take off expenses first. <laughs> that was actually for him right there. Pretty cool, eh? How that's piled up. What's the value of that? So over one year, if we took the little pieces that we're, you know, selling individually, the value would be 15942 if we were putting numbers on these things. But what if you could have it all for $397 a month? I think it's too cheap, Al. I think I should put the price up. <laughs> it's only 397 a month. But we got a special today. If you pay in full for the year, it should be 4,672 or something like that. So we got a significant discount. If you pay up front for the year, it's 2997 to pay it off for the year. So what would you, oh, that's interesting. I got to hit a lot of buttons here because I just made this presentation <laughs> and I've got him coming up in the wrong order. So I'll just hit all these buttons so it all shows up here. But if you were buying this stuff individually from our competitors, what would it cost? Even if we kept mentorship low at $1,000, the courses that we have in CIBN, I've only mentioned a couple of them. I mentioned quarter launch, but there's a bunch more. There's training on social media. There's training on different kinds of marketing. There's training on, oh, let's try to think, networking, goal setting, sales training. If we just took a handful of those courses and we compared them on the market, um, how, to, how to build a, a webinar, all those kinds of things, each one of those courses with other organizations is going to be 10000 for this course, 5000 for this course, 2000 for that course, 300 200 500 It easily is going to be $15,000. In fact, that's one of the things that our members have said is once they started coming to CIBN, they stopped buying a pile of courses because a lot of what we have is available to them and they didn't have to buy it somewhere else now. What about networking? Well, if you go to a real networking group that actually charges fees, and it wasn't, um, you know, some engineers that lost their job in 2020 and now they're going to do online networking. If you go to a real group, it has real costs. <laughs> if you go to a group where they actually do networking full time and provide that as a service and have things that they do for you, people got to be paid behind the scenes. So there's going to have costs. I'm not talking about you're going to join a free network that was worth exactly that. <laughs> talking about real networks in comparison you know uh our one of our larger competitors charges uh 3500 a year so that's what you're looking at in order to do real networking that works and masterminds oh my gosh i've heard them range anywhere from ten thousand to forty thousand dollars i think tony robbins is now forty thousand for his program um many of the smaller guys or people just getting started it will be ten thousand and up for that so i'm just put about twenty five thousand to do a basic mastermind finding a mastermind quite like ours is going to be different though i have people who come to ours and they do pay for those big programs and they come back and say 
CIBN is the only place where I can put have input. It's the only place where I where it's facilitated and led, rather than um, well, kind of like dictated. It's all classes, and there's somebody running it. Not, you know, we all get to contribute. And we feel that that's really important because that contribution piece is where the epiphany moments happen. And it's where people actually go, oh, I could apply that to my business and they make it internal. And when that happens, things change for them. It's a huge deal. If you were going to total up all those numbers that were just there, you know, all that adds up to this $44,500. And that's really what you're getting when you join the CIBN Mastermind Program. Isn't that something? All of that is there and more. So this is the right time to get started because if you wait, it's the beginning of 2023. Do you want it to be the beginning of 2024 and things are the same? So no, now is a good time. Why wait? How about now? Does now work for you? <laughs> that's why I ask people who bring me services how about we do that now <laughs> let's do it now because we want to get at it this is Leah Fink from All Thrive when she joined CIBN she had a dream and an idea about doing some webinars she now regularly conducts webinars and she fills them and she's learned how to do that through CIBN Connect isn't that amazing it's a full-time business for her now. So when you join us, we have some gifts for you. I like to be the bearer of good gifts. Me and Santa, we're friends. <laughs> so one of the first gifts that we want to give to you, first of all, we've talked about how important the selling piece is, right? So in the mastermind program, it comes with the Max Plus sales training program where we help you script all aspects of your sales process, perfect your pitch, do your follow-up training. Um, we've actually taken a lot of stuff that we've done in the mastermind cliff and where we figured all these pieces out. We as well have honed them. <laughs> and we have now put it right into this, this piece where we have this group that meets every Wednesdays who work on the pieces of the sales funnel for every individual business. And then we help them implement it. And it is a game changer. In fact, that is what we did with Darlene. And that's why she had such a tremendous amount of success. And Wendy's been coming along here. She's giving us thumbs up. You know, it's, it's a game changer. We're showing everyone how to perfect their infomercial, do a one-on-one -on -one that converts to a sales meeting or where you can present whatever it is you're trying to sell do your sales presentation and then a follow-up and we script every one of them and you have results that you can actually manage and you can actually check the numbers on. Isn't that amazing? And then you can perfect them and tweak them because you know what you did. This wing in it, you know, what the heck? You go to one meeting, you talk to the person, you do it this way. You go to another one, you talk a different way. You go over here and you talk another way. You know what you're missing? Data. Without data, you actually can't tweak your process and make it better. When you script everything and you do it exactly one way, you can now know, well, if I change this wording a little bit and it had this result, you can compare the two and improve your, your results. So we do that in the Max Plus program and it's an amazing program, it helps a lot. Another gift for you, of course, is the quarter launch. On the 27th of January, we have a full day called quarter launch 90 day goal setting and it's where we help you set your goals and manage your time so that you can achieve the success that you want it's a 597 dollar course when you join the mastermind program for a year you get it to come not once not twice but four times because every 90 days you need to reset all of this we also have some really great stuff that's in the archives. We've been recording mastermind meetings and some of the topic matters, cutting edge stuff, things that change on Google and Apple and all these things. There's all kinds of cutting edge stuff like that that we've been recording and putting in there. But we did this one here with uh, Sherelle James and uh, we learned how to actually, to learn how to track the numbers that matter. 
it's a great video. Every business owner should watch it. I don't know what the value of it is, to be honest. It's it's amazing. <laughs> and we have it there for you as well, because that is an important step to the growth of your business and scaling is knowing what are the numbers that matter. When you pay in full, take the $2,997 package there and pay in full for the year. We're going to throw in a, a LinkedIn package here for you uh, where we uh, show you how to fill your appointments. We have a little course that has three worksheets, three videos, and we've added to that. Darlene will actually do a LinkedIn audit for you, and I will do an hour of consultation for you uh, to help you strategize and get that done. Okay? Because once you figure out how to sell, you need people to sell it to. So this strategy is just one of the $150,000 a year strategies that you can add to what you do that will help you bring in the money, honey make the difference also if you pay in full we have added one more delight for you francois alphonse from exposure video will do a video for you it's a 1297 dollars value you get your choice of a 30 second prom uh, promotional video or a customer testimony or we can edit a 30 minute zoom video or a 20 minute video from your phone and you can, or you could create a video that's a signature video that goes out on all of your outgoing emails. So that's also an awesome bonus just for you. So CIBN, you get a lot more than just the networking and the masterminds. This is a pile of stuff, intense collaborations. I didn't even talk about the social media training, the growth strategies. World domination, baby. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. It's putting it together. So we're going to take the first 15 people into the Excalibur Mastermind program this month. If you want to be one of those people, you need to send me a text. This is my phone number. Can somebody just type that out into the chat for me, please? Because I can't see the chat. I've lost it. 403-397-1909. You need to text me if you want to be one of those people. You need to text me if you have questions. Also, you should text me. The reason we want to talk to you, I'm not just going to fling a link at you and say, go sign up here. Um, we actually want to qualify you, make sure that you are a good candidate for the program. I have three qualifying questions that I'm going to ask you because we want you to have success in the program. Okay. So we just want to cover a few things and then we will give you the link. And uh, we'll also pick the program that's best for you. Some of you, if you want to save the money, then the $29.97 is the best price. Some of you have budgeting issues. Maybe you need to look at the $3.97 a month and just get going, get moving. And uh, pretty soon the money won't matter if you start working on it. So again, the pay in full bonuses are, you know, getting your appointments booked is really important because that will help you pay and also get paid for you and your life. And of course, that video done for you, 1297. So those are great. Now, quick summary here. What are you getting for all that? Um, all of the online networking. And by the way, I think I have some people in the room who are members of CIBN and you're paying a certain amount every month. When you go to the um, program, this program, the, you don't pay the other one too. It's just one or the other, okay? So if you're taking an upgrade, we, yeah, that's another thing you can text me about. We can talk about that, okay? Um, when I'm making these comparisons here, I can see that when I list all the stuff that comes with the networking, the members actually, their cost for all of that stuff that is there is $908 a year. But what is the value of all that stuff that they get? Our last estimate was it's about $10,178 value because of the courses. And by the way, we do sometimes sell the courses just by courses and we actually sell them for $800, $500, $700, the course prices that are on them. So yeah, you it is a huge value when you come into the network, but there's a difference between the cost and the value, you see that? And then mastermind program too, uh, the cost of 397 a month comes to $4,764, okay? What do you get in there? It's about $25,000 worth of value, which I think we've explained that already. And all of the pre-recorded sessions are available to you as well. And then there's these additional gifts that we have added. You know, the Max Plus sales training, the quarter launch, the LinkedIn help, and the video done for you. 
And that is, again, the member cost to those gifts is about $3,800 individually. But the overall cost if we sold them separately would be $6,806. So you can see where I'm getting the numbers from for all our math wizards who like to do that. But when you pay in full for one year, you can have it all and you can eat your cake too for $29.97. Isn't that super? I think it's awesome. Or $3.97 a month if you can't do that. So now, why are we only taking a low number into the program? Oh, yeah, you take 100. No, I wouldn't. Not right now. I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, we have to be able to onboard you. <laughs> Those promises that we're making about how many videos can Francois handle. <laughs> okay. That's, there's only, he can only do about 15. Uh, what about the... Um, the time that it takes to onboard you and, and Darlene doing the special help work with you and all that kind of stuff. That's why there's 15. So we're going to run the program. We have webinars booked this week and next week. When the program is full, we will stop running the webinars. If we still have one or two left, we will cancel them. Uh, and uh, if they don't fill up right to the end, then it'll be open until the 19th because we start on the 20th with the first session with L Harvey. So we need to know who's in and who's out before the 19th and moving forward what the, you know, what the next steps is. Okay, let me just, what happens? Oh, here's a question that people ask me too all the time when they join the program. They say, okay, I'm ready. I want to do this. I'm going to do the $29.97. What is going to happen once I make the payment? What's the next step? The next step is onboarding. So you're going to get an email that says, welcome to the program. And there's going to be some steps in there. And then there's the onboarding concierge reaches out and starts walking you through the steps and giving you the pieces that you've been promised. Okay. That all happens. The first call and stuff usually happens within 24 hours, as long as you don't make the purchase on a weekend. <laughs> and, uh, but we get to that right away and we start rolling out so that you know what to do next. So you're no longer alone. You now have a community and we all work together. And that's also why we need to do it in small pieces. I don't want to bring on 100 people at once because people will fall through the cracks. One of our biggest success stories is the success stories of the individuals. And that happens because we have individual attention given to people and their needs and the challenges that they're having right now. And that's why we have stories like L, like, um, like Cliff's story that we heard today. And I know that there are other stories in the room. I know Wendy has one. <laughs> and there are other stories. Trevor has a story. So, you know, if you are new or you're considering, is this worth it? Um, Wendy is part of the program. Cliff is part of the program. Donna and Trevor are part of the program. So you can reach out to them and you can ask them. I mean, guys, you got to wonder, they've already bought the program. Why are they even here today? Right? Clearly, they're just here to support. So, you know, go ahead, ask them anything that you want. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. Thank you for putting that into the chat for me. So that's everything. Happy capitalism. <laughs>